In an earlier video, we saw that fasting drives the lifespan extending effect of calorie restriction, CR. So let's take a look at that data as it sets us up for a larger story. So here we're looking at percent survival, how many mice were alive or dead, and then age uh, at death. And there are three groups, CR, calorie restricted, so this is 30% calorie restriction, uh, and mice ate all of their food within a two hour eating window and then fasted for the remaining 22 hours in the day. And then we've got ad lib, uh, so these mice ate as much as they wanted, when, whenever they wanted. And I should mention that these data are in C57 uh, black 6J male mice. Uh, unfortunately, the study didn't go into uh, data on female mice. And then there's a third group, diluted ad lib. So uh, this is 30, also 30% 30 calorie restriction, but without fasting. So the mice were uh, allowed to eat as much as they wanted, but the diet was diluted, the ad lib diet was diluted, such that the total amount of calories was the same as 30% CR. All right, so let's look at median lifespan. This is also known as 50% survival. This is when half the colony has died and half is still alive. So for calorie restriction, we can see that there is a significant 20% increase for median lifespan for the CR group, the 30% CR group that also had a very short eating window. In contrast, and that's when compared with the ad lib diet as shown there in gray. In contrast, the CR group that was 30% but without prolonged fasting had a significant decrease in lifespan of 9%. So that raises the question, is CR without fasting bad for lifespan or pro prolonged lifespan, uh, prolonged fasting? So alternatively though, can lifespan be further increased in fasted CR mice? And one, one way we may be able to do that is through circadian alignment. Now for mice, circadian alignment means eating during the night, not the day. And that's because mice are nocturnal. The majority of their physical activity is during the nighttime, not the daytime. So, uh, and note that most studies in mice are conducted during the day, not night. So there's a lot of circadian misalignment going on in most mouse studies. So with that in mind, what's the effect of fasting and circadian alignment on lifespan in calorie restricted mice? And that data was published here in a, uh, a recently published paper. If you're interested in this paper and the paper on the last slide, it'll be in the video's description. So there's a lot of data on this slide, so let's unpack it piece by piece. So once again, we're looking at percent survival on the y-axis plotted against age, so uh, how long did the mice live? And then when starting off with median survival as shown there, we can see the ad lib group, which again is not CR. These mice were eating as much as they wanted, whenever they wanted we can see that they had a median lifespan of 792 days as indicated by the gray line. So then the next group was CR spread, and this is 30% calorie restriction, but, with, but without prolonged fasting. So the mice were given food nine times during a 24 hour period. So there was a little bit less than three hours in between each meal, and that's shown in purple. And even with, without prolonged fasting, we, we can see that there was a significant increase in median lifespan for the 30% CR group uh, the CR spread that didn't uh, have uh, any prolonged fast, or at least longer than about three hours. All right, so what about, so, so then we can go into uh, showing this data, 30% CR, median lifespan increase versus the ad lib. We can see that without prolonged fasting, there was a 10% increase, uh, significant increase for median lifespan. So what about maximal lifespan? So we can see that the, the last mouse that died looks later than the gray line, the ad lib. But most studies you, uh, report 10% survival. So this is 90% um, 90, 90 of the colony has died and only 10% is still alive. It isn't when was the age of death at the last, uh, for the last animal between groups. So when looking at 10% survival, again, 90% of the colony died and only 10% was still alive. You can see by the p-value uh, when comparing the CR spread versus ad lib, it's greater than 0.05. So there wasn't a significant difference in maximum lifespan for the CR spread group when compared with ad lib. All right, so then that brings us to the CR during the day groups. And this, this again is 30% calorie restriction with a 12 or 22 hour fast. But note that since it's during the day, the animals are eating during the day, this is circadian misalignment. And you can see that for the CR day group in yellow where it says two hours, that means that their eating window was two hours and then they fasted for the remaining 22 hours in the day. So for that group, for the uh, CR day group, we can see an even longer median lifespan as shown there. So somewhere around 950 days were compared with 792 for ad lib. And that's a 20% increase uh, for median lifespan. So what about maximum lifespan? And here too, uh, there was an increase in maximum lifespan for the CR day groups, both uh, 22 hour fast and the 12 hour fast when compared with the mice that were allowed to eat as much as they wanted whenever they wanted. 
So uh, last but not least, and this is why we're here, is the CR at night group. So the mice were only allowed to eat at night. So th this again was 30% CR with a 12 or 22 hour fast, and this would, could be defined as circadian alignment. So when looking uh, at the survival curves there in blue and green, we can see that the longest median lifespan was for this group, for the CR night group, again, that has fasting, prolonged fasting, and circadian alignment. And we can see that there, it was a 35% increase in median lifespan. Note that for median, median, life, uh, median lifespan data of around 1,050 or 1,060 days, most supplement-based studies don't even have maximum lifespans uh, that reach those, uh, th th you know, that, th those amounts of days or months. So uh, this is an impressive finding, a 35% increase uh, in median lifespan for fasting, prolonged fasting, plus uh, circadian alignment on a CR diet. And also, in terms of maximum lifespan, we can see that it was uh, also significantly increased. I put the p-values there uh, when compared with the ad-lib diet. So then this also raises the question, is the shortest eating window optimal for longevity? Should we all be eating at two hour, all of, all of our food within two hours? Or is 12 hour, uh, 12 hour eating window sufficient for uh, increasing lifespan? So based on the data in the CR day and at CR night, there was no additive, additive effect or there was no increase in survival for having a two hour eating window versus a 12 hour eating window. So when looking at the orange and yellow curves, you can see that median lifespan looks pretty close to identical. And similarly for the green and, and, uh, and, and blue curves, you can see again, median lifespan is basically overlapping at 50% survival, whether it's uh, a two hour eating all the food within two hours or within 12 hours. So with that, it would seem that if we have a 12 hour eating window, that may be sufficient for optimizing lifespan if we're on a CR diet and we optimize our uh, circadian rhythm. So that's then the bigger question. In people, would circadian alignment equal eating most of the food in the morning, afternoon, or before bed? And there's very little data, uh, definitely no data in terms of lifespan in people. Uh, but if we were gonna speculate, I'd bet that eating uh, almost all of the food uh, from sunup to sundown at the latest uh, may be optimal in people. Um, so with that in mind, I try to finish everything uh, around four o'clock at the latest, some days as early as one o'clock, uh, most of my eating window. All right, that's all for now. If you're interested in more about my attempts to biohack aging, check us out on Patreon. Thanks for watching. I hope to ensure you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.